how terrible the Pittsburgh Steelers actually are. The Pittsburgh Steelers offense is just plain bad. Najee Harris said, and I quote, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of working my ass off and not getting any results. Guys, so where no way should the Pittsburgh Steelers fire Matt Canada? I have been hearing this for a very, very long time from the Pittsburgh Steelers fans. I have been here probably two plus years. For the last two seasons, ever since Kenny Pickett has been a part of the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, along with George Pickens and Najee Harris, and they've had a great defense. The Pittsburgh Steelers have one of the best defenses in the, in the NFL. They all, also, also have been here and saying, fire Matt Canada. Fire Matt Canada. And for whatever reason, they were still continuing to win. They were continuing to win a lot of games. And then I sat down. I was at a baby shower. So I had the opportunity to watch a lot of football while they're playing their games and smelling diapers and all that crap. I sat there and I watched the Pittsburgh Steelers versus Denver or versus Cleveland Browns game. I sat there and I watched. When the Browns were on offense, I looked away and did and did my thing. But every time the Steelers were on offense, I sat there and I watched. And I watched. And I rewinded it and I watched it again. The Pittsburgh Steelers have no offense of rhythm. There is no rhyme or reason why they do what they do. I legitimately think that Matt Canada has a list of 50 plays that he has in order, and no matter the situation, that's a play that he is going to run. Yes, I understand you can script out the first 10, 20 plays of the game. Awesome, right? But sometimes you have to realize, like, hey, it's third and long. I can't run this five-yard dive play, right? It just, it, like, think about this, guys. Yesterday, yes, I do know the Cleveland Browns have one of the best defenses in the NFL. Yes, I know that they were playing with a backup quarterback and their defense was going to eat all game long. But the Pittsburgh Steelers had 64, 64 total yards in the first half. 15 yards passing. In the first half. 64 total yards in the first half. And they still had an opportunity to win the game at the end of at the end at the at the end of the game. You were holding the mighty Cleveland Browns down to 13 points. Yes, I know they had a backup quarterback. I get it. But Ford is playing out of his mind. Amari Cooper is playing out of his mind. Um Elijah Moore playing out of his mind. The the, the Browns are playing really, really good football right now. But the Pittsburgh Steelers have to fire Matt Canada. That is, this is a 100%, 100% way. They have to fire him yesterday. After that loss versus the Cleveland Browns, 13-10, when you put up 64 total yards in the first half, I understand why the Pittsburgh Steelers fan base is pissed off. I understand why the Pittsburgh Steelers' hands have been calling for Matt Canada's head for the last two seasons. This offense is terrible. Now, they've had flashes of greatness. Don't get it twisted. When they played the L.A. Rams back in, like, week four, they changed their whole running system, right? They went from a zone system to a straight-ahead gap system. That was a really, really good play play move. I was like, okay, Pittsburgh Steelers are, are like or back. Their offense is going to be clicking. No, very next week, they go back to zone scheme again. Literally, you go to the Rams, you run it down their freaking throat, and then you want to throw away that whole playbook and go to the zone system again? Fire Matt Canada. 